We previously saw how the average rate of change of a function can be understood in a particular context. When a car is speeding down the highway, the average rate of change of its position is simply its average speed over the trip. So if it were to travel at that average speed over the entire trip, it would get start and stop at the same points at the same moments in time. But the average rate of change extends to functions in general, as we saw by just the definition, average rate of change f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Now the function f does not have to represent the position of a car along a highway. In fact, there are many other instances in which you might want to understand something about the average rate of change. One example is seawater out at, in the ocean. So for example, suppose we're given a few data. So the density of the seawater is 1.025 grams per cubic centimeter at the surface and it's given by 1.028 slightly more dense grams per cubic centimeter at a depth of 9,000 meters so 9,000 meters below the surface so the question would be, what is the average rate of change? Rate of change of the sea water's density between the surface, so let's say between the surface and a depth of 9,000 meters. Okay, well first of all we want to understand what function we're using. So consider a function f of x. We always want to explain what our function represents. Represents the density. We always want to uh, list the units, so grams per cubic centimeter of seawater. Water at a depth of x meters below the surface. So we've clearly written out in words what our function represents. So we gave a functional notation, functional name to this thing that we're studying. Just the density as a function of depth. Now we have some pieces of information that were given to us in the problem we'd like to now translate the, uh, those pieces of information into our functional notation. So uh, surface we have to recognize is zero depth. So f of zero is just going to be 1.025 and then f of 9000 is going to be 1.028. So the average rate of change to be f of 9000 minus f of 1.025 divided by, okay, not that one, but minus f of zero. Always make sure that you're minus f of zero divided by 9000 minus zero. So this is equal to 1.028 minus 1.025 divided by 9,000. So what is the average rate of change? Well, I'm going to take out my trusty TI-36X, 1.028 minus 1.025 divided by 9,000. Well, actually, just the difference is going to be, I should have done this in my head, but the difference is 0 0.003 over 9,000. And when I divide that out, Okay, I get a bunch of zeros, so I'm going to change it to scientific notation. 3.33 repeating times 10 to the minus 7th. Now what are the units on this? So it's going to be the units of the y variable, the units of f, divided by the units of x. Now f is the density, and the density has units grams per centimeters cubed. 
and then x has density of meters. So the units are in grams per centimeters cubed per meter. Now if we want to translate that into another set of units, we can do that. For example, if we want to translate into grams per centimeter to the fourth, we would multiply by 100, something like that. Um, so let's, let's do something like that. Uh, why not? So basically, at our average rate of change, it's always good to practice units. It was 3.33 repeating times 10 to the minus seventh, and it was grams per centimeters cubed per meter. So let's go to, let's change this to kilograms per meters cubed per meter. So kilograms, so if we have, so this is essentially one-third times 10 to the minus 6 grams per centimeter cubed per meter. So we have 1,000 grams per one kilogram, and then we have 100 centimeters per meter. Now, the centimeters cubed, so we want to cube this part of it like that. So what we end up getting is one-third times 10 to the minus 6. So 1 over 1,000 is 10 to the minus 3. And then 100 cubed, there's 10 squared cubed, is 10 to the 6. So these two cancel, and we're just left with 1 third times 10 to the minus 3. And the units on this are so we've changed grams to kilograms to meters to the fourth. And so this is alternatively 3.33 repeating times 10 to the minus fourth kilograms per meter to the fourth. And that is the average rate of change of the salt density between the surface and a depth of 9,000 feet.